Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna teach with you how you can upload a static website on the web for free. So I made many projects but this time I'm gonna add the project like portfolio website like this one. So we're gonna use this one project to upload it on the web. When user will open it anywhere around the world. So let me show you how you can do that. So I'm gonna open my, my, not my, use Netlify, open that and you must be sign up that if you have a account. So just a minute, I'm gonna show you uh, Netlify. So I already have account. So, so you need to click sign up and inside the sign up page, you are able to see four options, GitHub, GitLab, Bitbug, and email. So which method you will use to create account. So if you have account on GitHub, so you can use the GitHub. If you don't have a GitHub account, so you can use the email. Enter your email and password, then you will receive the confirmation email inside your project, inside your email inbox section. Once you verify that, then you need to enter some optional questions like uh, I'm gonna show you just a minute I'm gonna show you how you can do that okay guys I'm gonna add my email and enter the password and I'm gonna click to sign up once you've done that then you will receive the email so just a minute I'm gonna open my email account so guys once you sign up the Netlify then you will receive the email let's see let's verify that so I'm gonna click on that and copy the email address verification link and then I'm gonna paste on there right so inside this page you need to enter some optional information about yourself tell us about yourself so I'm gonna select my personal and this is a freelancer and this is my personal portfolio website and inside there I'm gonna use something like this one inside there you need to add your name or your project name you can write any name as you want so I'm gonna just program my Apple and click to set up so inside this one page have a three options you can use that to upload a website so the first thing is import from git i'm going to show you two methods the first one this one and this one i leave this way so import from git so i'm going to show you how you can get the github repository if you have a repository so i'm going to show you github inside my github I have a this one repository inside there have a project so i'm going to show you how you can use that so i'm going to select the github and inside this one page i'm going to add my email address and password and once you click on that then you are able to see your repository will appear inside this one section so which repository you will use that to upload it inside the Netlify. So I'm gonna select last one and um, I think man okay I'm gonna select to deploy site and you need to wait a couple of seconds to upload the website on Netlify. Once you upload that then you will able to see the URL will appear on there. So you need to wait. So guys our website has been successfully uploaded on Netlify. So let's check it now. I'm gonna select that. Okay it looks a lot broken link into okay we're gonna upload it again. So I think we need to set up that.
click again that and click to sites a new site import an existing project click to github and i'm gonna add okay i'm gonna select the web right now we need to add the our landing page folder name like this way so you need to use slash and your domain landing page address our folder name paste on there click to deploy site hope this time you can't see the problem on there and i think our website will be live on the web so guys our website is successfully uploaded let's check it now another time uh, yes this is my website so this is the website that i built on earlier so this website is live now if you want to change the url this is a long-term url but if you want to add your own name inside there so you can do that click to site settings and click to change site name inside there you need to write any name as you want so i'm going to use landing mm, e landing and click to save so we are able to see this is our website url on the web when user will open that then who will able to see this one website so this is the first way the next way is very helpful so if you have a website like me inside my desktop i have a folder with the name of responsive portfolio and i'm going to show you this is website and i want to upload that on the netlify so let me show you how you can do that open it on netlify click to sites and click to add new this time i'm going to select the deploy manual and inside there we need to select browse and we need to select the portfolio folder upload that upload it and we need to wait a couple of seconds once you upload your particular website folder then you are able to see you will get the url like this one so let's check it now this why right, it's so perfect our website is ready now on the web let's change it to the site name so this is my resume dot netlify.com okay already taking this zoom i'm gonna use my resume okay my resume mm, p okay guys so my resume p dot netlify dot app is ready now on the web so this is a very simple way to upload your website for free so very simple way you can upload many websites on there so i have uploaded more than i think two websites yes my resume e learning if you want to add that multiple sites you can do that so i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching have a nice day guys